video. Hi YouTube. I've frozen in a uh, halogen lamp and faulty headlamp for my car but the high beam still works. It's an H4 capsule, 12 volts, 60 watts. Um, I'm just wondering what the thermal stress is going to do when we subject it firstly to 12, 14 volts and up till it pops. So yeah, that's the plan. This, I just froze it in a container and for you Nearly, um, I got a bit of plastic got stuck in there from one of the bags was bad, but don't worry about that. Basic setup for standard variac lead into a 220 to 24 volt transformer. I got a voltmeter to measure the voltage across the terminals and a simple ammeter. The ice has crystallized out beautifully around the lamp. Not sure if it's too visible, but I'm not sure if it's too visible, but it's uh, like a spider type thing. Quite interesting. Okay, let's wall. We'll start at say six volts. See if it's 12 volts. On the emitter is blanked out. It's pretty wide. Fourteen volts. I'll zoom out a bit. Last block is fully eliminated. We're doing about five amps. High school telegon lamp. Let's see, we've got a blow filter somewhere. Could help. Pretty intense brightness. Sixteen volts, water cooled, sitting at seven amps. That's it, popped at nine. Burned it out. Hmm, oh, surprisingly it stayed quite well in the ice cube. That is the lamp. A couple of close up shots of the eyes. It looks very cool, cool actually. Put a blue LED behind it. A bit of ice has melted around the lamp. The ice has melted a little more. The lamp is intact. Crystals are still quite visible. Contrast background. Thanks for watching viewers, project wasn't a real good success but um, the lamp didn't pop, well, I mean actually the quartz glass survived.